Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going today? Let me just see here. Nice. Uh-oh, I got some repo some sounds coming in my ears. It's not good. This is weird. You guys hear an echo or anything? But uh All right. Well, guys, today's the day. I'm hearing an echo. This is not good. Oh, you guys aren't hearing an echo? This is going to be weird. All right. Well, today's the day. Uh, World Airports Update 2.0 came out, and I'm pretty excited. Um, it, it's, it's a... It's very exciting, and we just did a live stream with World of Airports developers on the World of Airports channel. It's a, uh, it's it's pretty cool. If you guys have a chance, I definitely recommend that you check it out because it's a, uh, it's available for you to view. Uh, we looked at Kubasan's uh, airport simulator and his uh, Boeing 737, and we uh took a ride from Innsbruck to Prague and we have found out some other information but right at the end of that stream they released World Airports Update 2.0 and uh, we're gonna play it together all right so this is the home screen and you can see here, I have quite a few levels already at, at uh, Innsbruck and at Bari. Uh, so about like a few days ago, they actually transferred over our data, our, our main data from the game to, to this version of the game. Um, so I haven't really checked out any of the other airports. I only checked out Innsbruck and Bari. But uh, hey, I'm pretty excited. And we're going to go right into St. Martin Airport. And we'll, we're going to check out the features. We're going to check out the store. We're going to check out everything. Since now we know this is the final version. This is the version you all can play. So we can check out everything. And we can uh, get get some first impressions. Get some thoughts out there. And uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys might have about, you know, mechanics and things like that. Oh, I think I know where, I know where the sound's coming from. Nice. All right, cool. Now I don't have an echo too, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really really happy. All right, we're in St. Martin, guys. All right, let's let's take a look here first. Man, this is oh this is so cool. You got you got the, some boats over here. You got the hotels. Oh my, I think these are hotels. They look like hotels with the pools and stuff. Um, I, when I go to St. Martin Airport, guys, I want to stay at these at one of these hotels. I'm telling you that. <laughs> uh, you got the the small jets. It's cool. Wow, a lot of detail, man. We're gonna check out the other camera angles too. Oh, that's a long runway, huh? But lots of water. All right, all right. We're gonna check out the airport uh, airplane camera views. So this is camera one. You can see the planes landing, it looks like, the beach. And you can see a few of the, uh, the airport. It's got uh, camera angle tower two. Really cool. Tower three. Ah, the other, other side of the runway. We got tower four at the end of the runway. Not too bad. Oh. Oh, I thought this was gonna be the, the the angle we all really want to see. Okay, so that's 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 a runway camera one and a runway camera two. Wow, this is really far out. How far can I zoom? Boat hype, yes, let's go. Mike said I totally missed the free stands at St. Martin. Bought a couple. Oh, hey, right, look, we start with ten thousand wallers, by the way. So that's pretty interesting. Um. All right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. These people chilling on the beach, man. They're about to. Is somebody swimming? I hope he comes up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're back up. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
all right that's enough of that camera and then we have uh the, the main camera now you can you can use two fingers to rotate the main camera and you can use two fingers to go up and down so you can change like the angle you can go top on or uh go like on a little slight angle so it makes it look more 3d i like the slight angle but that's pretty cool all right let's get this plane uh handled this plane is right over here oh man this is one of the new planes too nice check that out that's pretty cool all right we're gonna go ahead handling so i had a, a lot of time to play this update already um or at least play the beta for this update right so typically what i end up doing is you want to look to see how many handling crew you have and in this case i only have two planes right i have this plane that's being handled and this plane needs to land so i'm going to go ahead and assign two out of two and then uh, the ramp agent costs you know wallers but also it adds another handling person so sometimes i might go ahead and assign it but given that this only needs 14 seconds to handle i'm not even going to bother with the ramp agent i'm going to save my 16 wallers and we'll handle it as soon as it comes back up now if you look here when you click on the plane that needs to land it'll show you all the stands that are like uh, available for it the stands that are in white you don't have purchased for that size the, the stands that are in green you have purchased so looks like we started off like like mike was saying we have uh about five free stands here which is pretty cool so we're going to go ahead and confirm it for landing let's uh prepare ourselves let's pre uh, prepare ourselves to watch it this plane land and it's clear to land let's let's take a look mexico ball said fat why is everything bought in gold planes um uh, they mentioned that in their developer blog they said that um, the golden planes are going to be the exclusive and uh, premium currency that allows you to purchase the planes um, so that's why I kind of uh, I tried to give people a heads up as much as I could in my previous video that told people to uh, you know buy things that you could that you wanted now uh, why I, they didn't really explain too much but uh, that's that's what we know uh, Let's go ahead and finish handling this guy. Mr. Aviation Matters, what's up, man? What's up, Goose? <laughs> Goose changed your name. And why do you have to spend thirty thousand dollars for a livery you already bought? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's real. You have to buy. You have to buy the plane. You don't have to apply thirty thousand dollars. At least not, that's not something I ran into. All right, my first plane has been handled. So, you see, this plane has a contract associated with it. Um, you get about six seventy-four profit per round trip. You get eight. Well, so far, I've handled it once, so I got eighty for the contract. And some of the rewards is <laughs> this one doesn't give me any silver planes. So this will probably be like one of the first ones I get rid of when I hit the, the limit of 10 for now I, I'm okay with just getting the XP but you don't get any silver planes for it so it's uh it seems kind of whack but we'll go ahead and claim the rewards zero silver planes one XP you get an upgrade and extension so when you get the upgrade you can click on the contract button here and you can see what's what's the ch what's changes in this case nothing changed right you're still at zero and you're still at one so nothing's really changed it's the same exact contract except now i gotta handle it twice so i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it because i have eight more contract slots available so it doesn't make sense for you to cancel it right now when you got eight more slots might as well just handle that plane get the wallers and get the xp for for that contract but once you start hitting that limit of 10 then you might want to consider um removing that contract and, and putting in something a little bit more appealing in its place now this plane needs to taxi to the stand let's take a look at that kamikaze is trying to update in Prague. nice ir 786 hey fat there's a seven seven thirteen thousand willer wallers free from the xp that's a good point man um we'll go there in just a second oh cool let's take a look at the T 2d map so that's that's actually not too bad of a taxi right so the small stand right here and i thought like i'm so used to the woa 1 1.5 right where they had to go all the way up to like the beginning of the runway but it looks like the small planes only have to go right here 
So that's pretty convenient. Oh, I forgot I don't have a ramp agent on, so I need to handle this. You see, you can also click on the icons and it'll tell you what services you need completed before you can handle the next one. So that's, that's awesome. Uh, let's get back to the regular view. Oh, let me get my mouse. I feel like the world of airports can be a little bit better with a mouse sometimes because it's like more precise clicking. Kay's in St. Martin too. Nice. Captain Lockhead just got the notification that the update's available. Isn't that exciting, man? We've waited for so long. Dude, this plane is turning. <laughs> I didn't realize that the planes could turn. All right. So one of the things let's take a look at the the progress rewards right let's take a look at the progress rewards let's see what we can get from uh leveling up saint martin airport and the premium pass costs 20 gold planes now in the world of airport stream that they had they said that uh this progress rewards is uh pl their plan is for it to be permanent and that's kind of exciting right because in the past our airport levels were reset and it was kind of random we didn't know when so they said instead what they're going to be doing is adding more levels at the end instead of uh resetting the progress so if you really like an airport you can go ahead and buy the pro the premium pass if you want i mean it's 20 gold planes right so how much is 20 gold planes about ten dollars a little less than ten dollars right so it's ten dollars but uh there's quite a few things and the cool thing too i think i'm pretty sure the way it looks like it works is that you can unlock you could be level you know 20 something and unlock the premium pass and then you can go ahead and get all the rewards even though you're you've passed them already you don't have to unlock them on day one so i'm going to go ahead and claim that thirteen thousand dollars because that's going to be a huge help and let's take a look to see what we got here so look, you got you got an airplane. So what that means is that becomes a fleet airplane at level one. That's pretty cool. If you get the premium pass, you get it at level zero right off the bat. You get a basic livery for all of your like if you uh, decide to unlock this plane with gold planes, or however however much it costs to unlock it, you get a basic livery for it just from the the regular pass. You get premium one with the premium pass. So you still need to unlock the plane, but, or you don't have to, how do I put it? Yeah, you have to unlock the plane, or if you have it in your fleet, you can you can also go into the fleet menu and still have it. So as long as you have the plane, you can unlock the livery. You can use that. Let's continue looking at the levels. An E-190 contract, that's cool. More contract slots. A gold plane, so that's, that's, that's something that's really, I missed from the previous update, right? From Leipzig update. They got rid of like a, uh, gold planes from from leveling up so we get that i think in every airport at level 21 your airport becomes a regional airport which means that you can accept regional contracts 332 333 they give you oh this is a contract never mind <laughs> more contracts more contracts international level at 34 they give you a, a B-38M for your fleet. Not unlocking the plane, but just one plane at St. Martin for your fleet. Plus, the next level, they give you the basic livery. Whoa, they give you an A-306 airplane for your St. Martin fleet. That's cool. I'm not even looking at premium. Oh, and then uh, right here. If you reach level 48 at St. Martin, you can unlock the A-306 for all your airports. You see how it doesn't say St. Martin on the top? You can unlock it for all your airports. And like the same thing, like we're here in Premium Pass, you get to unlock the 752 F, the 744. Dude, Premium is going to be awesome for like new players, especially. Like for me, I already. Oh man, too busy talking. I forgot I'm handling a plane. But uh, yeah, for me, it's like I already have all these planes unlocked, so I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense for me to get the the Premium Pass. I think I probably will anyways, because like. I mean, you get extra contract slots, you get extra handling crew, you get extra wallers. So I think it makes sense to do. Yeah, <laughs> I don't get any of the rewards because I, I think I was in a yellow. But what were the rewards? Yeah, zero and one. So I just totally mixed, missed out on a, on a, a XP point. That's all right. We're going to go into contracts and we're going to go ahead and generate a local contract. 
what this will do is it'll give me another plane that can come in with different parameters so this one gives me one silver plane and one xp which is pretty cool and it's it's a one hour round trip though so i might i might not have enough planes coming in here so i might have to go to another airport and then come back in like 15 minutes so we can uh handle the next planes that are coming in because if you go to the radar here you can see where the planes are so i have this one plane that's the that's uh heading out i don't have any planes returning um let me see Kelvinator said, I see there are bigger gold plane bundles now. Yeah, man. It looks like, how much was it? 900 gold planes for $100. Oh, yeah. We got gold planes, a different different exchange rate, right? It's one one gold plane for 1,500. So it's not 100 gold planes to one. Or it's not 100 silver planes to one gold plane. It's 1,500. I would say save up and do this one if you want to trade them in. Um, you get... For 100 free gold plane a uh, silver plane sorry you get 100 free silver planes every 24 hours for just just clicking this button um you got waller bundles you got handling crew bundles so you can increase the handling crew that you have some of them are permanent the ones for gold planes are permanent the ones for silver planes are temporary and you have contract capacity which i also think is permanent so pretty cool I, li I like that the silver planes are are, are going to be useful for the handling crew because essentially the more handling crew you have the more planes you can handle at one time which means also that you'll be able to complete more contracts faster and then get more silver planes or get more levels my entire savings is 20 dollars. indonesia said dang i'm sorry man um a medium turns around on the runway oh I, have, I haven't had a medium yet but that's pretty cool tk said can i accept a transfer contract which is international when my airport it's not at three stars yeah man that's that's the pretty cool part about us having our about us existing players is that we, we have those contracts essentially available to us um right off the bat so it's not like you lost all your progress yeah you know you you, you have to sign up for contracts all over again but you get to pick which airplanes you want coming in you can even do a, uh, a connection with another player if you want instead or you can just pick up one of those um one of those contracts that are transferred and then uh kind of get back to your normal operations let's see do we get any oh we got a random player arrival let's go who is this this is johnny h all right thank you johnny h i'm gonna handle your plane lucky guy and <laughs> i gotta say i think oh man i don't have any stands huh all right where are these stands located at let's let's take a look i'm gonna get back into main view and let's see i'm gonna click on this ah over here only two medium stands. That's weird. Interesting. All right, I'll take it though. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. I mean, that's why I get. That's why World of Airports gives us ten thousand dollars to begin with, right? Um, and we're gonna clear it to land and let's watch it. Let's change our camera angle. Okay, so I got a player plane and didn't realize it was a medium. Yeah, <laughs> that just happened to me. Plab said, I can't play WoW today. I don't know why, so I guess I'll watch and play tomorrow. Gotcha. Flammy said, or this is Goose, right? Flammy, what's up, Goose? <laughs> Flammy said, I need to say this update looks like Prague Airport 1960, but more modern, for real, because there's too much confirmation, but this confirmation more better when you're done with the plane. The uh, plane's not angry, so all with you is fine. I gotcha cool cool all right we're gonna let's i'm gonna turn on the focusing mode this button right here turns a uh, center is the camera on the object so when you click on the plane it'll center your 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 camera oh i don't have it on it, when you click the plane it'll center your 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 camera on that plane oh look completely missed the turnaround but we'll see it plenty of times i'm sure 
Amarna, Hammy said uh, there are more M stands. Gotcha. Oh, do I need to unlock more terminals? That's I forgot about that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and claim this reward. We get one level up point and one silver plane. We're gonna upgrade the contract and let's see what we get. Five and two. That's that's more like it. That's more like it. All right. What does this guy's path look like? Dang, can't you get off the runway, man? No. <laughs> Like, get off the runway over here. Now, nah, probably because, like, these are for small planes, so, the, uh, like, wingspan, right? But, yeah, you could go ahead and push back because you're not going to block this guy. And he's going to taxi over here. And we'll have this plane land as well. It's going to be very interesting playing this, like, trying to grind uh, St. Martin Airport. going to be pretty interesting. Do a water salute. Um, okay. Somebody, Hammy said that, like, there's more stands, more M stands. So I opened up the construction menu. The construction menu on the bottom right here, that's going to let you see all the stands you can build. So let's go ahead and, and go in there. So yeah, this is the small and medium that I was looking at. This is a cargo stand. All right, here's the main terminal. With small, medium, and large. These are passenger stands with smalls. Gotcha. Is there anything down here? Nah. Ah. Interesting. It will be interesting playing. This is a small airplane air airport, as as most of us know. You don't like the confirmation, Flammy? Um, I don't mind it too much. It doesn't really like uh, stop too many things, but I, I get where you're coming from at the same time. Watch these guys, man. Indonesia has 1350 silver planes. Nice. The sound effects are good. Let me actually... Uh, I'm going to turn them on. I think I have them on now. Oh, I got to do one more thing. There we go. I turned off the music, though. Um, I'm going to lower my music. All right, here we go. Here's Johnny. So for this one, I mean, look, I don't even need that. I only need one, per one handling crew to do this. So I'm going to first set up my... This plane here, I'm going to do this plane with the uh, a, a ramp agent and then I'll do the rest of my handling crew Three of them because remember I need one more for the ramp agent because I still want to explore some of the menus and for, Such as the fleet menu. So this way we can let the ramp agent take care of this guy Actually, I, the ramp agent was probably pointless right because there's only one service that needed it look like but anyways, whatever Kamikaze said we have the same connection plane from the same player. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Bus Spotter London said all my fleet has gone. I had 100, 200 aircraft. So what you want to do is you want to go into the airport and you there should be another option here that says transferred. Um, you go there and you can see all your planes. We're going to go to another airport shortly because uh, there's only so much I can do right now. It says there's one fuel working, but uh oh, it's this one. Uh oh. See that that was a mistake. I shouldn't have. Uh, now I had to buy that fuel, otherwise this wouldn't be handled in time. Because this fuel is gonna take like two minutes to do. I find this really weird. How did all this finish already? I didn't even look. All right, but yeah, if you go like for example, actually I can't even show you here in contracts. So we'll, I'll show you when we get into another airport that you can uh, get your your fleet planes back and your uh your connect your your destinations back toast mcgee got johnny too oh johnny J johnny's popular today <laughs> l1 uh got the johnny too <laughs> why did you lose all your fleet planes you didn't man you did not all right so that one finished handling 
Please go to Bari. You sent me a request. All right, cool. So you see the the, the crew is doing their thing. If anyone in this chat is Johnny, admit it. Yeah. Whiskey, my zero eight six four. Push back. All right, go ahead and push back. Uh, guys, you don't lose your fleet. They they made it very clear in the dev blog. You don't lose lose your fleet. You do have to go into another menu to get your fleet back, and then all your fleet is going to be in Snow White. So uh, just just take a moment, breathe, relax, and I'll show you how your fleet looks like in just a second. Because we're we're going to be done handling both of these planes. You know, I do have. I don't have any. Pl I have one plane. Okay, I have this plane coming back in one minute, but uh, we'll, we'll come back to St. Martin Airport because, as as I know and many of you know, when you're starting a brand new airport in World of Airports, it can be a very slow process. So we're gonna we're gonna um, come back once we have all three planes ready again. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. We all got connections with Johnny, or at least the one single plane from Johnny. Let's go ahead and watch how this plane takes off, though. Voxify says, I'm switching from Android to iOS. How can I log into WoW on iOS without losing all my airport and fleets? You can't. You can't. There's no, uh... There's no cross-platform. You can play with people on the other platform, but there's no cross-platform saves, no cross-saves. Um, so you have to log into the same platform. So if you have Google Play, you, you're... Your account will transfer to Google Play, but if you have uh, iOS, you know, I Apple, you ha your next account has to be, or your next device has to be Apple. Otherwise, uh, you gotta start from scratch. Sorry for the bad news. Toast McGee said, I have to redo all my planes manually. It's a, a real pain with a fleet of 1,000 plus planes. Let me know how that goes with the, you know, a limited number of contracts I'm not sure if you're gonna want to uh, have, uh, redeem them all right off the bat I think it'll be nice to have some of them in like your arsenal for the future all right we're gonna watch this take off hey dust hey duster what's up man says what where is update I don't see an app store check uh I mean if you don't see, see it in the app store uh, maybe uninstalling world airports and reinstalling it but I do know you know for some of us it took uh, some people got it instantly some people had to take a couple minutes some people had to wait an hour well that's what I did was I uninstalled world of airports on my iPad and I reinstalled it using the app store and boom the updated version was installed even though the icon was still like the old world of airports the updated one came in uh, maybe that'll work for you good luck Nice, it's turning, man. It's turning. <laughs> Johnny's probably the first person who sent their planes from uh from Washington to, to St. Martin. All right, we're gonna back out of here for a second. Uh, I'm gonna go to Bari Airport. Bari Airport. Actually, look at Washington with an event. You got an event at Washington, you got an event at San Diego, and at Muscat. Let's go. I'm going to go to Bari. I got a, a, an incoming player connection re request from Hammy. So we'll, we'll we'll take a look here. And I got a bunch of contracts. I'm at 39 out of 44, uh, which is pretty a lot. <laughs> and let's see. All right, so Hammy sent me a contract. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And you see here, I got local contracts and I got regional contracts. My Bari Airport is a two-star uh, airport, so I get I could generate regional contracts. Regional contracts do cost me money still, but uh, they tend to have better rewards and bigger planes. That's what I've noticed. I mean, it makes sense, right? International contracts, I probably will expect like only L planes for the most part. Um, but look, I get seven seven silver planes and one XP. You know, this is an E190 as well. So I, but I get five silver planes and one XP. Now, if we look at the, the difference, right, this is a lot far, further away. It's twice as far, far 
So it's two hours, 18 minutes, 3,000, uh, almost 4,000 nautical miles. This one's 2,000. So those are the kind of things we're going to have to like think about when it comes to contracts and whether or not you know a contract is worth it uh, to, to accept. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the regional one. And uh, let's get some of these planes landed. I'm going to show you guys, too, the transferred and the fleet planes. Let's just w watch this guy land. Look at the, look at how bright it is behind me. The sun is literally behind my head outside, though. Kelvin says, is there a benefit to fleet planes still in connections? Um, it's something I need to figure out. You know, there wasn't a lot of people like connect with during the beta. Uh, so I just focused on, you know, handling computer planes and things like that. But now that the, it's out for everybody, now I want to try out connections and see how that, that looks. So for those of you who are looking for your fleet planes, all you got to do is go down here to the fleet menu and you can go to transferred. So over here, you can see all your planes that you had in your airport. So for me, I'm, I'm, I should see my Concorde in here somewhere. I definitely had a Concorde. Yeah, I had two of them. Now, I pr it probably, I don't think it has its, its call sign anymore though, which is a, a little sad, I guess. I'm gonna miss IDAB, but uh, yeah, see, uh, th that's a new call sign. Dang. Rest in peace, IDEB. So we're going to go ahead and configure this plane. So first thing is the paint. People were wondering, do you get yeah, your paint? Yes, you get, you get to keep your paint. And the cool thing is you get to also pick a different color for every single one of your planes if you wanted to. So I think that opens up a whole lot of creativity for a lot of people. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the seat configuration now. So here's economy class, business class, first class. Now you can, oh, and you can see the range. So with 120 economy and nothing else, you get 4,203. But if I add nine business class, I get a little bit more miles. You know, same, same thing if I get more first class, I get more miles on the plane. So it's like, it's pretty interesting how that works out how you get like different capacity and you can find what works so I think I'll do this and then we'll look for where can this plane go so look, you can see up here what my plane can, can hold what it's currently configured for 86 5 and 2 and then over here you see the demand on the bottom left for muscat 460 41 and 10 Oh, what happened to my colors? All right, so we got the the destination here. Let's let's go ahead and update that. Let's change my colors back to me. There we go. And this this is just reference, so that way you can see you can kind of quickly see, you know, how how do you want to configure your plane based on this demand? You can change it. Now remember, the game is still happening in the background, so my, my L plane that I cleared to land, it's still taxiing. Um, luck, I don't think I have any other planes in the airport, but the game is still happening in the background. I even sent it to St. Martin Airport, look at that. So that, that's, the, that's the configuration screen there. And uh, it just lets you kind of see, get a preview of, of where, where, where it can go, how to configure it, and you know what, what its capabilities are. Once the plane lands, that's when it says right here, assign contract when plane lands. That's when you assign the contract when the plane lands. So actually, let's go ahead and uh, land this Concorde. We're gonna do joystick, and we want a perfect landing. Make sure you pay attention to the wind. All right, let's go a little bit down, come on. Oh, that's a hard landing. That's because I couldn't go down, man. I couldn't go down. <laughs> Tap anywhere to, to configure. Well, it looks like the, the, the hard landing didn't really um, hurt my, my maintenance so far. But if you click on this, the L, 
it gives you a bunch of uh, plane stats. It lets you know the air crew, the max range, you know what your current configuration sets is your range to, cruise speed, approach speed, uh, takeoff distance, um, its weight, its load, how much fuel it needs, and then its maintenance. And look at that, I still get most of my selling value for selling this plane, so that's pretty interesting. And it's cool. Parking is not available for stand 205. So no parking minigame for that. And oh, we got a connection plane coming in from Shill. Shilliash. So let's go ahead and pick that stand. Confirm. Clear to land. Let's watch. Yo, what's up, Potato? Nice to see you, man. F in the chat for IDAB. Thank you guys. Thank you for thank you for the paying your respects to, to IDAB. How about Billy is a bald guy? Is Billy bald? Uh, Tariq asks, does this game have the United States airports? Yeah, it has uh, Washington, um, IAD, and it also has um, San Diego, SAN. The developers are from Shek, so... Uh, that's right, like we got Prague, Innsbruck, um, Bari, a lot of European airports. But uh, they said the next, they said during the, the live stream, the, the World of Airports live stream, they said that the next airport in the game uh, should be from India. That's what they think it'll, it'll be. A good show with the gold plane. Indonesia asks, is inverted better than normal? I mean, it, whatever way you can make your landings. Um, I typically play, when I, I play video games, I typically use inverted, but that's usually with a controller, not like with a mouse or with my finger. So we'll see. Can you show how to get routes back, please? Yes, let's go. So you go to contracts down here. In order to get your route back, you want to click on contracts. And then go down in the bottom, you'll see transferred. Transferred has a list of all the, the, the routes that you had unlocked in the previous game. So you'll see a bunch of local, regional. You can even uh, transfer the international ones, even if your airport's not an international airport. So you get a huge advantage for being an existing player because... Uh, you know, normally when you start start the game, you're not going to have your stands unlocked. You're also not going to have international airports. You're not going to be able to get access to airplanes. So, like, go in here and find the destinations that you want. The only thing I wish, I wish they had a filter on here. But, uh, like they have on, on the regular contract screen where you can filter it out by size. But they don't have that in the transfer slot. That was something I recommended. But, uh, yeah. Sometimes you got they gotta prioritize what they you know what the work that they have to do. Put a two D map real quick. I just want to see what's going on with my planes. The tiny details are there. I love it. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. And I like the fact that uh, I like the fact that the ramp agent really helps you to like just just like not worry about having to like do every single plane, click on every single plane, and, and handle every single one of them. It's like okay, you're being handled. Um, I'll come back later. You're gonna miss the old handling crew model. I yeah, I'm with you. Um, but I like I like the new update, the new ones too. They're pretty cool looking. Now, on a on a plane on a airport like this, one that I've been playing for a while, one that I've been building up for a while, and uh, you know I got a bunch of different contracts. What I like to do is I like to click on which planes are are looking to arrive. Right. And you see how this contract over here is at two out of four. So this one, this 738 is most likely going to arrive. I'm going to clear it to land a lot sooner 
than uh, than this one that's at zero out of four. So that's just like one of the ways it's gonna work. Let me um, let me find my Concord. Let's go to two UV real quick. Now let's assign a contract. So my Concord could go anywhere, really. Oh no, it can't, huh? So you see how, like, all of a sudden now I, I don't have access to all these destinations, whereas before I did. So let's take a look at the filter here. This is something I'm still I'm tr still trying to understand. But you click on St. Martin, it looks like I, I don't have enough runway. And it's not profitable, so... <laughs> let's uh, not go there. What about if I go to Prague? 279, that's it? What about Muscat? Muscat, surely Muscat's gonna give me more. Nah, 437. Yikes. So I click this. You send somebody's nickname. Who's playing Muscat? Let me think. Who's playing Muscat? Who's playing Muscat? Ham is playing Muscat. All right, so now essentially now this this plane is actually stuck here It can't you can't do anything with it until the other person accepts the connection request So that's one of the um, I guess bad things about contracts in some ways is that you have to wait so like toast McGee sent me two contract requests, right and uh, I could literally just ignore it because they never talked to me about it i know i saw you in chat so i'm gonna i'm gonna take one of them um but you never talked to me about it I, you know I, i'm at 42 out of 44 um you know i'm pretty full here uh, things are getting kind of full and busy so i'll accept one of them and a cool thing uh, another cool thing is you can still see what you get so for this one look at this look at this guys you gotta look at this this is this is uh this is pretty amazing and this is why I say like getting silver planes is so much easier and you can use them for a lot of things Oh, come on, man. You just, you just <laughs> nah, you're good. Um, let's look at his uh, contract, which is should be down here somewhere Oh, you canceled it you canceled it Well, I'll show you shills because I'm connected with shill So this is on a 738 but after 10 completed connections I get and I'm the one who's receiving their planes. I'm not sending planes. But so after 10 completed connections, I get 220 silver planes and 68 XP. Guys, 68 XP? I'm gonna get like two levels from that <laughs> at 35. And and you guys could see earlier that um that the levels are a lot easy a lot smaller in the beginning. So that is pretty cool. Uh, Hammy accepted my request, so we're gonna go ahead and get these all queued up. Yeah, for this B463, you get 165 silver planes and 42. Uh, for the eight, that's that's from Prague, right? Yeah, from Prague. For um, this AT76 from where was it? From Innsbruck. 128 and 41. Hammy's uh, B463 from uh, from Innsbruck. 147 and 42. So like that that's some seriously good uh, silver planes and XP if you guys can uh, grind it out with each other The very I think that's gonna be the play But uh, you know, we still got a lot of things we got to figure out with this update for sure You know, how, how is that gonna look? You know, does it make sense to do long-distance connections? Because I think you get more silver planes and more XP the further the connection is and and or the bigger the plane is so I will see Thomas Kazi said, "Hey, Fat, do you want a plane from IAD? Yeah, send me, send me a request. But uh, actually, don't send me a request yet because I want to back out of Prague. I mean, out of Bari, and I want to go to 
Actually, I should go back into Bari. Excuse me. I'm gonna go back into Bari real quick because I want to finish handling the connection plane. This guy right here. Because uh, you know that's one thing now with connections is that your connection partner does not get their plane back until you're done handling it. So it's it's kind of important that you uh, you handle your connection partner planes uh, whenever you can. So I'm gonna figure out a system. By the way, guys, like I, I think what's gonna end up happening on my account is that I'm gonna do like maybe um, one third of my contracts are gonna be for incoming connections, one third of my contracts for outgoing connections, and then another third or smaller being for regular computer airlines for for regular grinding, because uh. You know, not everybody plays every day, and I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be stuck, and not being able to level up because uh, my connection partner isn't playing. I mean, granted, I'll disconnect from you now, no problem. I'm gonna be able to tell if my plane don't come back, you know. Um, but I'm much rather not disconnect. You know, ten connections, we can do that. That's no problem, right, guys? <laughs> Hole said, World of Airports takes a long time to update on my iPad right now. Yeah, man, it was like almost uh, almost one and a half gigabytes big. It was a, it was a big update. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm running out of handling crew. So I got a couple things I can do here. I can uh, buy a, an additional one, which I'm... I'm, 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 I'm uh, I'm a little cautious about I don't know if I want to do that just yet and you can claim one and so you can claim it and then there's an ad you can play an ad I'm not gonna play an ad on my stream unless it's a uh, my ad <laughs> um, which I don't even see I don't even see them so but yeah then then after two hours we can go ahead and claim another another two we're gonna go ahead and expand add another there we go Come on, 7.38. I got two more minutes, and then I'm going to switch airports. Ah, I should have played the mini game. Potato asked, how do you start a connection with a player? So when you have, uh, you might want to rewind a little bit, maybe like 10 minutes or so, because I did um, go through that step with requesting Hammy as my connection partner for this Concord. But uh, when you get a plane, uh, your own fleet plane, when that fleet plane comes into your airport, you have a... Uh, before you can even handle it, you have to choose what contract that plane's going to be assigned to. Once you choose where, where that pl plane's going to be assigned to, then you can start handling it. Now, if you pick a, a destination that is a playable airport, Muscat, Prague, Bari, you know, all, all those airports that we can play. Then you'll be allowed to either select the player name, which you can type in, or you can just pick a random player. Now, I've noticed that it seems like those um, those playable airports those contracts are free um, or at least they don't they don't seem like they cost any wallers for you to, to send a plane that way whereas some of the other destinations you need wallers for and they can be profitable but uh, that's something we're gonna have to find out but once your plane lands in your airport you assign it a contract you select a player a playable airport and then you type in the player's name or you can set select a random player and then uh, and then that'll get open that up for you actually you know what I want to see I want to see if I have if there's any random contracts coming in nice Pedro Pedro JPF with a snow white plane from Innsbruck Three, three silver plates and one and you see this is only for one handling but that's pretty nice I could I can handle that one handling I can do that but I probably shouldn't have accepted it oh well <laughs> oh I want to play the mini game <laughs> I keep forgetting to toggle the mini game man that's true and then look at look at the premium pass here let's take a look I, I've claimed a couple things but uh, I don't have the premium pass just yet. I'm waiting because I want to see. I want to check to see what, if if it's uh, worth it, in my opinion. So I, I can claim a gold plane already because I've been leveling up. Some more wallers. Let's get those wallers. More wallers. More wallers. 
So next level, I get more handling crew. You see here, you get a B-463 at level 20. One single one for your Bari airport. And at level 20 premium, you get to unlock delivery for all B-463s in any airport. That's pretty cool. But I think I already have the triangle delivery, so like that that doesn't benefit me. You know, at level 24, you get one single gold plane for free. And you also get the unlock for the 734 in all airports. You see how it doesn't say Bari? So you get the 734 unlocked for all your airports. You get a bunch of liveries for free uh, and for premium pass. And an A319 at the end. And an E190 at the end of, uh, or at level 41 at Bari. It's not necessarily the end because they did say that they might add more levels um, with more future updates. Alright, we're gonna follow this Concord. To take off. Actually, I don't know if I can. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to tell it to go to the runway. Yo, what's up, Vincent? Does premium pass apply to all airports? That's a good question, Kay. And uh, the premium pass is a one time purchase, but you have to purchase it in every single airport that you want to do. So, uh, it is. Uh, this is a little loud. I'm sorry. I'm gonna lower it for now. But it is a one-time purchase, and you have to purchase it in each airport that you want uh, that you want the premium pass in. So that's why I that's why I'm like not buying it just yet, because on this account where I have everything unlocked, I'm not even sure if it's worth it for me to to purchase them. I, on a brand new account, I think it makes the most sense because like I don't know how much these planes cost. We'll have to look later, or you can tell me. But like, how much is a, a an A319 cost in gold planes and how much does a 734 cost in, in gold planes? I'm pretty sure just those two planes alone probably cost more than 20 gold planes Let alone all the the liveries that you get for free the extra handling crew the extra um, Contract space that you get the extra wallers So I think I think it's probably one of the best values in the game with the premium pass but uh, So far with the two airports that we went to so um, currently None of them really have anything that's uh, really uh, appealing to me, but uh, I do know there. I think there there is a an airport I want to go to. Where's my Concord? I can hear it. All right, so this plane's taking off, right? Prince said, what happens to existing connections with players? It looks like they're gone. Um, yeah, it looks like they're gone. You're going to have to re-establish re a brand new contract with the with, with that player. Uh, but contracts essentially change the way connections are done. Oh, let's take a look at what the Concord contracts looks like. This is uh, from Bari to Muscat. So it's not, not a lot of profit, right? I mean, that's how much money I make. I don't know how does that make sense. Why does it say 437, but like my first trip I made 2,229. I'm gonna have to like investigate. But whoa! <laughs> 473 silver planes and 122 XP for that connection. So that's gonna be uh, pretty impressive. And it's a one hour route on the Concord. I don't know what that would be for a regular plane. So uh, I guess we'll have to find out eventually one day. Yo, Mert, Mert, thanks for being here, man. Uh, Mercy, I have to go fat. Have a good day. Bye. Yo, I'm, I'm surprised you're, you're here at this hour. Uh, thanks for being here, man. You have a great night as well. The A319 is eight gold planes. So that pays for... That means you only need to, to save 12 more gold planes in order for the premium pass at Bari to be worth it. Which I so I think like you're probably better off if you play World of Airports. <laughs> if you don't play World of Airports, unlock the plane and, and now you have it. But if you play World of Airports a lot, then unlock the premium pass and eventually you'll you'll unlock those planes for free.
Lightning said, do planes still make gold planes, silver planes when we sell it fat? I want to know um, that. I don't know the answer to just yet. I don't know the answer just yet to that. Like this is a contract I might end up canceling, but not not right now. Yeah, I don't know where I can where to sell your airplanes, but maybe it's because all these are in active contracts. So that I am not sure, um, Goose. Blammy. Hanny said, I can't seem to handle my M cargo planes at in. Um, interesting. What happens when you try to handle your M cargo planes? Like, this is another contract that I might get rid of. Like, 34. Actually, this got better. So it was like three XP before, so now it's at seven. So it is like slowly getting better, but I might end up getting rid of it. I'm just uh, like in this airport, I'm a little bit more used to like the the longer ones. All right, I'm gonna wait for this guy to get to his gate. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to St. Martin. All right. The handling dialog box doesn't open even though the chucks are in place. Tag. I had that happen once or twice to me um, during the beta, but it kind of fixed itself after about an hour or two, um, so, which got me to thinking that it's a, it was a, a server problem, you know, a communication issue. And I think maybe like maybe that's what happened in the past is the game would crash at that point, but I have not had a single like complete failure of the game you know no error messages popped up you know maybe just one or two planes like like what you're having where the plane wouldn't let me uh like do any kind of handling on it but uh nothing nothing like completely shutting down the game like you guys have seen a couple times during the stream all right good that airplane got to its gate we'll, we'll get this one to its gate as well this is, this is a player plane now did you guys know this is a button right here you can click on this, the, the, the wallers, and you can see exactly like what you're getting from that plane. You click on the M, you know, the size of the plane, and you get some more information about the plane. And I think those are the only two things you can click on. I mean, you can click on this too. Yo, what's up, Jonathan White? Hopefully everyone's having a great di day and excited for this new update. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm excited to finally be playing it. Evap said, I don't like how it crashes a lot. Maybe I don't have enough space on my iPad. That's interesting. I haven't had a single crash, Evap. So maybe maybe it is that you don't have enough space. Um, that's unfortunate, man. I'm sorry. I'm going to try it on my iPad mini soon, um, which is like my lower end device that I have. But uh, look at this, another one. Is there no handling of anything except for fuel. That is interesting, which actually kind of makes sense, right? Why my departure fee is at zero. Because there's zero passengers. I wonder what how this is. Ha oh, so it's returning empty. Is that what's happening? He sent passengers this way because it has, you know, 68,000 uh, weight. But zero passengers are going back. <laughs> Maybe that's what's happening. That's weird. Flammy said, what can we spend for silver planes? Well, I think there are some uh, liveries that you can buy for silver planes, like maybe some of the basic ones. And uh, um, you can buy handling crew. So you click on, you go up here to handling crew, click the plus. 
You got handling crew that you can purchase for one hour or for four hours. And you got contract capacity you can purchase for silver planes. And you can also convert your silver planes to gold planes. Um, it's 10,000 gold planes to, I'm uh, sorry, 10,000 silver planes make 10 gold planes, which means a thousand silver planes is equal to one gold plane. I would not do this unless like you only need one gold plane. I would not do this. Save up the 10,000. Um, I mean, when I first started playing, I was at 32,000 silver planes. Then I made my way up to 38. I bought a couple of uh, a couple things, and now I'm back up to 35. So uh, it's not, it's 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 pretty fast to make uh, some silver planes. All right, we're gonna go back to St. Martin Airport. Oh, I want to show you guys one thing. I want to show you guys one thing. You guys need to pay attention to this. Because there's, if there's one premium pass that I'm going to buy, I think it's going to be at Leipzig. So check this out, right? We got level 1, level 2, you know, so on and so forth. Let's keep going. I just want you, I want you guys to keep it. Look at the premium pass. Look at the premium side. But if there's one premium pass I'm going to buy, it's going to be this one. Like, oh, look, it's Supreme 1. That's all right. That's pretty cool, right? But that's that's not what's exciting to me. A320, all right. You know, you get to unlock the A320. That's pretty cool, too, especially if you don't have it already. I already have it, so it doesn't really affect me. Um, You got a C17, all right, cool. You got a A332F. Not too bad. Hey, look, you get the basic one livery for free for all your A306Fs. And we're... You get some gold plane, nice. You get a, a, a seven. Oh, you unlock the three thirty two F. Look, oh, oh, oh. You guys see what's at forty seven? Tell me what you see at forty seven. Both for free and for paid. Oh yeah, it's eighty gold planes though, right? <laughs> but look what you get for free and for paid. You get the Beluga at level forty seven. For your own fleet at Leipzig at level 47 with the premium pass. So uh, that's pretty cool. That's that's one thing I want to get for sure. Um, you get a, 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 a contract. Okay. <laughs> you don't get the airplane, but you get a contract. So that's, that's all right. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Guys. I didn't even know this, but look at what you get at 55. Look what you get at 55. But yeah, 80 gold planes is kind of a lot, right? Um, 80 gold planes, what is like $20? If you, if you buy it like um, with the $100 package, the 100 gold plane package, so you're paying $20. So it's really up to you. Do you is it worth it um, to, for all those unlocks um, to get, you know, one? A225 in your airport and you have to reach level 55 to get one beluga in your airport and your fleet and you have to reach 47 but also with all the unlocks all the liveries the extra contract slots the extra wallers the extra candling crew there's so many different benefits so it's something I'm still like weighing in my mind because it's it's tw it's twenty dollars right so it's a, it's it's a decent amount of money but they they made it appealing so good for them for doing that I want to know what you guys think no way. <laughs> That's funny. I know definitely on my on my new account, I'm probably I'm going to get the the premium pass because why buy gold planes to just unlock a plane when I can just play the premium pass and unlock it that way is the way I'm thinking. So now we're back at St. Martin. Flammy said no way um, You said the plane sounds a little loud Yeah I'm sorry about that Gotcha Jonathan I know you're probably not here right now But uh, thanks for hopping in The guinea pig asks How do you use your fleet now That's something I'm trying to figure out Guinea pig um, I, I really don't know yet But 
St. Martin Airport. I got no fleet, so nothing to worry about here. <laughs> Mate Jake said, hi, I didn't play the game for some months. Waiting for this update. Well, I still have my purchase planes, and we'll only need to unlock all airports again. So, yeah, you get you have all your purchase planes. You just have to go to a different menu. Um, if you look earlier in the stream, I have that um, somewhere in here. I'm going to timestamp this uh, video later. But uh, you'll see all the, uh, all the fleet planes are in a different menu. You go down to, uh, to fleet. And then you click on transferred and you can see all your listed planes there. This is St. Martin Airport So nobody has any existing contracts or any existing planes at this airport. This is a brand new airport to all of us, right? so uh, That is for that and then uh, Your debt yeah, your, your contract same thing. It's gonna have transferred over here. So that way you can have a transfer coming in Hey, Toast McGee, I'm not going to accept this yet because um, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get an L stand. Um, I have no clue how long it's going to take for me to get an L stand. And that's not fair to you because in order to get the L stand, I have to buy this terminal, which is $10,000. And then I have to buy the stand, which is another $15,000. And then I probably also have to buy equipment for it so that way I can still handle my small and medium planes, which is probably like another $10,000 uh, as well. So it's gonna take me some time to like kind of grow my airport before I can accept any uh, any L planes, let alone yours. Appreciate your interest. All right, time for the parking mini game. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to use my fleet planes though. I like how the wheel turns. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. <laughs> oh man, premature celebration right there. Whoops. <laughs> The guinea pig said, what's the point in player connections now? I think the point with player connections, just based off of what I see so far with the existing connections that I have and the ones that are slowly coming in is, uh, is the, you know, once you handle 10 of them, like you get 800 silver planes for handling 10 connection planes on this one, you know, and you get 87 level up points for handling 10 connection planes. So that's really going to be a, a nice boost for both players. Um, when it comes to that, you know, for a CRJ nine, let's see what that looks like. 289 silver planes and 53 experience points. So really not, not too bad at all. Um, and they also give like regular, you know, decent money and you don't have to like wait for a local contract or regional contract or an international contract. You don't have to pay for a map contract. You don't have to look for an, a random player arrival. So it's a nice way to kind of get the, get a head start essentially. Kamikaze, I canceled those other two because uh, um, how do I, how do I work this? The L planes, I cannot handle. Like, there's there's zero way for me to handle that uh, anytime soon in St. Martin. Maybe maybe if I buy some Wallers, I can like expedite it a little bit. But I always like starting off an airport, like I guess legitimately. I don't know. <laughs> Buying Wallers is legitimate, right? You can buy. It's a part of the game. But I like to start it off the the. The, the, the slow freeway and then you know once we figure out how to do everything and how once we get like a few levels then i go ahead and do some of the more the more fast growing royce Roy mclean said we have to support them yeah i mean i yeah, exactly i don't mind that's why i don't mind and i think you know just looking at the premium pass i think it's it's totally worth it i just want to make sure before i start spending money because i did notice that some airports do have a little bit of an overlap on airplanes that they unlock so like one airport might give you the a319 for free for reaching a certain level whereas a premium pass on another airport will give it to you although you know at an earlier level or so, sometimes but uh there's a little sometimes a little bit of an overlap so just something to keep in mind you know 
Let's go. So I can upgrade this contract. Now it's five and three. So I think for small planes, as long as I get one XP per hand, per like time I handle it, I'll be kind of happy. But uh, I know I expect some some like regional, you know, and some of those longer range connections to give me more um, than than these like super local ones. Here's another one that's going to be finished. All right, and we reached level one, so I get a DHC six. Let's go. My first fleet plane. So when you when you when you accept this plane, you see how it says St. Martin Airport airplane DHC six. So that means we get that plane into our fleet. But you notice how it's not like a card over here on the right. You have to you have to go into fleet. You got a red dot on the fleet, so it kind of tells you, gives you a heads up, and you have to claim it. Once you claim it, um, you have one more you know one more place to to confirm that you want to claim it. It all starts off in Snow White. You know, that's how that's how planes are born in Snow White. And then you can go ahead and go to my fleet, click on the, the settings icon there, and you have uh, all your options. Now I, I think most small planes you don't have really any options on <laughs> on configuration. But you do have options on the colors. So we're gonna go ahead and pick fat airline colors right here. And let's let's go ahead and I'm gonna buy a livery. Um, but you know what I should do? Like basic one, I'm gonna get for free, so I'm not gonna buy basic one, right? Um, what else do I get for the DHC6? Uh, premium one is one that I could get if I do the the premium pass. So I'm not gonna buy basic one. I'm not gonna buy premium one. Uh, you know, I'll let I'll let the the progress rewards unlock that for me instead of me having to spend money for it i'll let the i'll let the game unlock it for me essentially and it looks like those are the only two liveries that you can get for that plane um yeah so that means anyone that's not number one go ahead and unlock for yourself this one is only gold planes to unlock so that's something to keep in mind and supreme is two two gold planes Premium is one gold plane and basic is one gold plane. I would think that basic would, especially on a on a cheap plane like this, I would think that basic would be silver planes, but and uh, then premium is gold planes and then supreme is more gold planes. But let's do. I'm gonna do supreme too. You get this cool little confirmation screen, and one of the cool things too is if you if you do pick a, a color that you don't have, let's go with like yellow, right? Ew. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go with like orange. Yeah. So you see how now it tells you like at, for the purchase the the. the Delivery costs two gold planes. The color costs one gold plane. Therefore, it's three gold planes. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it. Now, yeah, I notice there's no way to really back out of this. So all you gotta do is hit confirm. Now, confirm doesn't really charge you the gold planes. You can go ahead and select the one that you already have unlocked, and you see everything's back to normal, um, no cost to you. So nothing to be worried about. It was something I was worried. Uh, yeah, something I was I noticed when I first came into the this airport okay all right toast mcgee i I, I, I'm gonna warn you because we got a connection at Bari and we got a connection at St. Martin um, There's only so many connections. that I'm gonna accept with one single player So I'm gonna accept this one, but uh, if I see another one coming in from you, I'm, I'm probably I'm, I'm going to decline it um, But I, I appreciate your enthusiasm man. like thank you for sending the request because especially right now in a brand new airport Where you have to wait what like an hour for local contracts an hour for another random player arrival having those uh, regular player arrivals are, are a huge help let's go ahead and play the, the landing mini game in st martin look at this title this call sign pj fez <laughs> yo there'll be a water landing
Oof. Oof. That was a hard landing. I just like, I just went plop. I like stalled. <laughs> Alright, let's watch this. I'm sorry. I, I've been missing some of your chats. I'm sorry, guys. Guinea Pig said, I really hope they haven't removed all motives to use fleets. I really like using them. Yeah, that's, uh, I was actually, I was watching the, uh, World of Airports interview that they did, like, two or three years ago with Prague Airport, and, um, I found it pretty interesting, because that's one of the things that the World of Airports, you know, that Kuba wants to do. He wants to make sure that the game, um, you know, can connect people. It's like an online game. Justin Pusino said, are our previous fleet still there? Yes, they are. All you got to do is uh, go into the fleet menu, and instead of going to, like, my fleet, you have to go to transferred. Once you go to transferred, then you can move your fleet from one airport to another. Uh, Shivar said, the new UI is beautiful. Nice. I, I, I like it, too. Awana uh, said, bye, fat. I'm going to bed soon. Nice. Potato said, where's the option to transfer your planes to your other airports? Oh, so that's a good question, too. Um, that feature um, was, like, delayed. So we're not going to see it in uh, in this version of the game. Nothing just, not just yet. So yeah, you see here with this uh, DHC-6, because of its, like, its limits, the plane limits, there's only... Uh, a bunch of local destinations that I could send my my, air, my this airplane to, and each of those destinations cost me wallers to send to. So that's a a little rough, right? Fifteen hundred wallers. So something to keep in mind when you approve that plane for landing. Uh, actually, I don't know if that's the best destination. Like this one has 22 demand, whereas I can handle 16. So I think I want something that has a little bit more demand, but still kind of, still kind of cheap. Which I think was the first one I selected. That's 21. That's 81, 41. Yep. So we're gonna go to a uh, uh, BON. Let's go ahead and accept that, and we can begin our handling. Now you guys notice this is a brand new plane, right? So you notice there's no loading of passenger unloading of passengers it, it came in empty so all it has to do is handle the gas the fuel and the baggage and then it loads the passengers once both of those are done so i like i like that in this version of the game they uh they made it make sense i haven't had a plane go to maintenance yet so i don't know I, i'm pretty sure the same thing should happen for maintenance where it'll uh it'll send a plane empty Your big brain is the plane handling faster than before. Indonesia says, should I update WOA right now? Um, the only reason you wouldn't update WOA right now is if you want to unlock more planes. Um, if you want to unlock more planes. If you look now. Well, I can't even show you because I have all the planes unlocked, right? But all the planes, uh, essentially, I think uh, people can confirm in the chat for me. But the planes... You have to buy for gold planes now. That's one thing that the World Airports uh, kind of alerted us about. Is that you have to buy gold planes. Or you have to buy the airplanes for gold planes. And the same thing with some of the liveries too. You have to buy them for gold planes. So if you have enough silver planes and you're in, on the previous version. Then that might be the only reason you might want to. Um, you might want to wait and hold off on updating. Otherwise, um, you know. There's not, there's, you're not going to be able to complete lots in the time that they give you, you know, they're not going to keep the old version open for too long, or I don't know that for, for fact, but, you know, it doesn't make sense for them to keep it open for so long, um, so if you have, like, you know, levels you still need to complete, I mean, you had a year and a half to really get them complete, but I can understand about the the airplanes if you want to unlock the airplanes that's now is the time to do it i mean yesterday was the time to do it too but <laughs> now is another good time who to get up update everybody gets the update man how to get the update you have to uh 
check out the App Store. I know on iPad, what I had to do was I had to uninstall World of Airports. I had to delete it from my 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 iPad, and then uh, it was uh, I was able to then go ahead and, and add it back in. And then when I downloaded it, even though I had the old logo, let me see if I have. Yeah, even though I had the old logo. Oh, now it has the new logo, but it had the old logo. So even though I had the old logo, when it downloaded, it downloaded the new version. So try that out on the App Store. That might work out for you. Um, if not, then you'd probably just have to refresh a little bit uh, and, and wait. Be patient. Because on my iPhone, I refreshed the update page a bunch of times by swiping down. And then I finally, I, I got the update kind of in there randomly. So. Yeah, that, that's, what, that's what happened for me. Potato says, some prices change my one gold plane or 100 silver planes. Well... One gold plane, I would say. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say a hundred silver planes anymore, because you can't unlock it. Uh, if you want, if you want to change your silver planes to gold planes, it's going to cost you um, fifteen hundred silver planes for one gold plane, or ten thousand silver planes for ten gold planes. Um, so if you think about it, it's like the equivalent of ten of one thousand silver planes is one gold plane if you wait to have ten of them. Indonesia's uh, saving for the seven seven eighty seven. Nice. I think the seven eighty seven is like called the seven eighty nine now. Um, I think. Oh yeah, go ahead and take off, man. What are you waiting for? Like I said, with this feature, I can just watch your stream more because auto handling now this is better, dude. I, I'm telling you, it's so much more chill playing this game instead of having to click around all over the place. Granted, you do have to make sure you're telling planes to take off, and you do have to make sure you're, t you're telling planes that they can land. But you got you got the 2D map. The 2D map is going to help you out so much. So you can just go into the 2D map, see what planes are yellow. Any planes that are in yellow need your attention. Any planes that are orange are planes that are like landing or going to their gate. And any planes that are in blue like this guy is departing so you see how that one's in orange that means it's just it just needs to it's just getting to its gate you know now it's uh, yellow which means it needs attention oh, look at that zero I, I, sh I didn't even need to use the ramp agent that's just like it's it's become a habit for me already TK said, what does it mean in airport selection that an event is in there? That's a good question. We'll go there. Um, I'll, and I'll show you. And I will show you. But yeah, um, essentially, I think, I'm not sure if they mentioned this on our stream or if they were talking to me about this before the World of Airport stream. But one of the things that they, they're going to be doing is... Uh, those events so you see when you go to the airport selection menu there's a bunch of uh events in like different airports and uh one of the things they want to do is sync their social media with in-game so if they talk about lufthansa airlines on on instagram and facebook then they're also going to help they're gonna you're gonna get a special arrival of that 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 syncs with what they're saying on instagram so i think that's pretty cool um and you know he also mentioned on the stream about like olympics you know so we can get like special airplanes for the olympics and things like that so that's how they do it and i think they're gonna rotate some these events daily so you get like a, a pretty much a guaranteed contract on some airports every single day What's this guy doing? <laughs> Sending zero passengers on board. Tato said, hey, I think to max out the efficiency of your fleet planes, just like pick half of the business that is available and half of the first to get one of the best range and two will match better with the demand. The demand of a destination. Try it out, man. We're going to have to definitely figure out because like a lot of people are going to have like their little hypothesis or their little guesses, but uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for all of us to really figure out what's the 
what's the what's the main play? Well, you know, what's gonna get you the most wallers? What's up, Xavier? I need a curtain when I'm streaming at this time of the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to revamp our connection channels on on the Fat Airlines Discord. We're gonna have to figure out like what's the best way to do it. Um, because now you know one person can accept so many different connections and like what's the best way for me to get your connections you know I know I don't want to be unfair you know so how what's the best way for me to do that is um, something I'm gonna figure out you're playing world airports right now nice me too me too a lot of money in this airport I need to figure that out maybe once like those contracts coming in that's international okay here's a local yeah a bunch of DHC six which isn't gonna bring me it's like a hundred dollars per per round trip which isn't a lot This is going to be an interesting airport to play for sure and level up. Oh good, my DHC6 over here is finished. We're going to upgrade that contract, push back, and we're going to change airports. Now guys, make sure you push back before you exit the airport. Because uh, if, you, if you don't push back, then what's going to happen is... The plane will still be at its gate when you come back in. Well, if you push back and you exit, the plane is already taken off. So let's answer TK's question that he had earlier. TK asked about the events. So you see how like Washington, San Diego, Muscat, they all, all three of them have like events going on. So I'll show you what the events mean and uh, how we can take it. I'm going to, I'm going to, which airport? I think I'm going to go Muscat. Yeah, I like Muscat. <laughs> Flammy said, "Fat in Bari, I test Billy brake check. Um, when I test it, Billy still get hit by vehicle. Like, yes, they did not patch it. Nice. We're gonna, but we're gonna have to update the the Billy how he looks. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and handle this. I don't think I need a ramp agent for this. Look at, I got 122 handling crew. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so we wanted, we came in here for the event though. So we're gonna go to contracts." And you can see right here in the contracts, you got an event contract right here. In this case, they're giving us an L plane from Gulf Air from Bahrain. And it's one handling. You get 10 silver planes and 5 XP. So I'm going to definitely accept that. Let's generate a new contract. It's an A320. Three silver planes, one. One thing I kind of wish... Um, is I, I wish like this is how much silver planes and XP I get for one handling but like what does it look like when I reach five what does it look like when I reach ten I don't know how they would put that into this like UI um, maybe that's just something we all need to figure out but yeah that that's something that I'm, I'm interested in all right we got the levels let's take a look at the levels I'm gonna do separate videos, by the way, um, for each of these levels. So that way you guys could see, you know, what what the total value of each of this. So you see, this premium pass is 60 gold planes, so it's cheaper than Leipzig. What planes do you, you get? The special A388 contract. That's cool. You got a livery for your 789s. A livery for the 346. You get a 77W unlock. That's cool. And you get an A346 unlock. 
You got an A388. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I think I think the the premium pass is going to be like fantastic, especially for people who uh, for people who don't have things already unlocked, or people like me who have things unlocked. I'm gonna have to like analyze. I might just do it just to support. Potato said, "What's your nickname again?" Well, the, now under oh yeah, my nickname is being hidden. <laughs> That's funny um, on the bottom left the most of the screen you can't see it here because it's literally hidden by my my stream But uh, it's it's the fat Rican. That's this account. I, I'm gonna play fat airlines again very soon, too. I just uh I just want to get this one geared up first what flammy said in washington level 68 premium you can get a concord for free is that the washington airport concord i'm guessing because i doubt they would give you a an unlock xavier loves my vids oh thank you man thank you thank you i appreciate that um i'm glad i hope they help that's that's what that's the whole thing you know i started this youtube channel because uh I noticed a bunch of well, I had questions about the game when I first started and then I joined the world of airports discord And I noticed a bunch of other people had the same questions as I had when I first started got started playing So I was like, you know what? Let me uh, create some videos and You know help out some people with their with their game So I created those videos and uh, Here I am <laughs> So I'm, I'm thank you for that man Now I can easily you know if you want to if I want to not wait for more contracts Especially since it's gonna be a while before I'm regional before I'm international and because I've already played this game All of my existing contracts are all right here um, So you click on the transferred you can click on uh, let's I'm gonna pick one of these to, to transfer in uh this contract is already active. That's funny. So I want I want X plane. And again, I wish we had like a filter up here, but I, I get it might be just be a me problem. If you got what do you guys think? You know, I have so many planes, so it might just be a me problem. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna take this A388. We're gonna transfer the contract. Um, actually before we transfer the contract you can see its parameters right on uh, one hour round trip About 2,000 profit per round trip you get 12 silver planes and 2 XP for that one contracted handling so and It also gives you an extension and upgrade for future handlings That's how you can tell that this is going to get upgraded. This is going to get upgraded for every extension so I'm going to go ahead and Transfer the contract and accept it. So now this a388 is right here waiting for landing or waiting for a stand and then we can go ahead and clear it to land Oofy Gaming said what do you think of St. Martin so far I think it's gonna be a very interesting airport to play um, because especially if you don't pay gold planes to like buy more wallers, you know It's gonna be hard to get the to get the wallers in order to unlock The terminal So the terminal costs like 10,000 wallers at st. Martin Then you if you want to get an L an L gate or an L stand then you have to pay another 15,000 So that's 25,000 just to unlock the capability of getting a, an L plane then you either have to wait on a connection like a contract to come in or more likely or actually not more likely but or if you want like a regular airline to come in you're gonna have to buy a map contract or get lucky on a regional contract which i don't even think there's going to be that many l l contracts for regional airlines more likely you're gonna have to get an international l l contract which is way later in the game um so I think it's gonna be just a, a little tough to like level it up But I think that also adds to the experience because you're really gonna have to like handle these planes get them in and out Find the best contracts, you know, maybe replace some of the the contracts that you get in the beginning with some of the 
some some player connections so that way you can get more level XP faster and that way you can get you know some of these rewards for leveling up the airport but we're definitely gonna have to figure it out for sure Ooh, parking minigame now I've never played the parking minigame before at Muscat by the way and I don't I don't think any of you have either um, <laughs> so this is another new thing because I don't I, I've never played parking at Muscat and this is this is pretty cool I always wondered why I could never play parking minigames at Muscat and now here I am playing with an 8388 coming right at me I think I s ah! <laughs> 97 come on man <laughs> just give it to me <laughs> you guys check this out you see this is my small plane it was at a gate over here and it's it's asking to line up it's not asking to to cross the runway it's asking it's, it's saying line up so that's a, that's one another cool another new thing from world airports 2.0 is that now planes i'm not sure if all planes like if i have a small plane over here will it depart on this runway i don't know exactly how that works but i do know if you have a, a small plane up here um it'll depart from right here i'm not too sure about medium planes but i i think i do think that this a320 oh no i parked it down here Oh, I told you I wanted to play the parking mini game. I guess not. <laughs> I wonder if because I was in 2D view, if it just skipped it. I don't know. Or maybe that stand doesn't have it. Or maybe that's just a bug. Um, I did not play any Muscat. You see, I'm level zero. Right? right? Level zero. So uh, let me know if uh, you guys have that same issues. Justin said, I'm unable to purchase gold planes. Is anyone else having this issue? Uh... Let me, uh, whoa, my screen's so blurry. All right, I'm censored now. <laughs> I need a I need a curtain or something. Oh, I got an idea. Face brighter. Oh, that don't help. <laughs> All right, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna try to purchase gold planes because I think. Um, when I go into that menu, that it actually might show my, my my last four digits of my credit card, and I do not want that to show up uh, <laughs> for for obvious reasons. I, I I think so. We'll wait. We'll wait a little bit before I try it out. Maybe after the stream. I won't look. <laughs> Jesus Christ came to Fat's house. So holy. I know. Thank you, man. Thank you. Justin said, I love the video though. I learned a lot already. That's awesome, man. I'm going to try to break this up into other smaller videos because uh, I know not everybody can watch a two-hour video. Not everybody can watch uh, a one-hour video, but like, you know, 10 minute maybe. I'm getting better though. That bright is like heaven. <laughs> it is kind of bright, right? I I never I've never done a, a 7 p.m. stream, so I actually maybe once before I've done a 7 p.m. stream, but I usually don't do streams at this time of the day. Um, and this is pro this is probably why. Whoops. Hey, 
any tips uh i mean i would just say watch the rest of the video man i've been giving tips throughout this entire time um let's search for a random player arrival manika all right now you see with these random player arrivals you it's only the one time handling there's no upgrade there's no extension so that's how you know it's only one handling for this this player arrival whereas some of the other player arrivals are actually going to have um you know a lot more it's going to have the upgrade and it's going to have the extension so even if you look at this like this is not a player but you'll see here it has extension has upgrade so after every single completion you know this is only one contract so next time it's going to be two and this is going to be higher and the xp is going to be higher uh, most of the times not all the time but most of the times justin said I, uh, you loved this game before they just made it so much better dude i i'm i'm enjoying it a whole lot i mean you know there's small little things here and there that i think they can you know maybe improve or um take a look at kind of thing but uh Overall, I think they they really did a great job of understanding what we want to do when we what, what, what we want when we play and uh, Just making sure like it, it executes on that Like I love I love having the ramp agent where I don't have to you know constantly click on every single plane I love that my plane that I parked is still kind of crooked, you know <laughs> um <laughs> Now I can see why I didn't get 100%, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's like a cool little detail. Like, I, don't, I think the old the old update also let you see like crooked planes too, but maybe it wasn't as pronounced. Also, never at Muscat because you never had the mini game at Muscat, and now you do. Now, like, you know, one of my planes that I tried to do, it didn't let me play the mini game, so that's like kind of confusing, but uh. I get you know it's better that they released it it's it's so polished too you know it's not like we're running into game breaking bugs i mean hammy did mention that uh, she was running into some issues right um where like her one of the the medium planes wouldn't take off so there are may maybe some issues um but i think they might be like server load issues which i know world of airport developers um i know they they released this update kind of late for their time but uh they're looking at the servers they're looking at the stream and uh they're they're, they're, they're watching what, what what's happening for all of us kamikaze's going to sleep check your prog for some cool planes nice um nico says it's good because i'm in new zealand nice <laughs> that's perfect for you right Nero Gaming said, why did they release it today? Was going to sleep and found your stream. <laughs> now you're going to stay awake until 5 p.m. and then work tomorrow. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, I, I'm a, I like want to take off from work tomorrow, too. Um, I probably won't, but I, I want to. <laughs> I want to. Now, you know, like the the jet the jet bridges here aren't updated in Muscat, um, so I, yeah, I I do want to go to Prague, and we, we should quickly check out those, you know, how they revamped all of Prague, and let's see if we get the the parking mini game here. Yep, I do. Let's go. So Justin said, got it to work. You have to exit out, reload the game after adding money to App Store. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna open up my uh start my third account and uh then we'll we'll figure out how we'll buy probably the, the nine hundred gold planes from my third account. Yo, and thank you, uh Neon Plane. What was that? Ooh. Thanks for subscribing, Emily Markham. Neon Plane Spotting. Uh, Plane Spotting. Thanks for subscribing earlier. Peter Draft. Thanks for subscribing. Man, it's a lot of people. Thomas, Max, On Blue Horses, um, Camo Dano, Quinto's Gaming Room and Aviation World. Johnny F H. Thank you all for subscribing in the last uh, few few hours, and a bunch of other of you guys who also don't have your your uh, subscriptions public. Um, thank you for following and subscribing. 
Oh, and let's check the prog Easter egg. Yeah, that's a good idea too. So that's cool. You know, I did 100% on the parking mini game, so I got one extra XP, which you know is very, very useful in these opening levels. It just helps you get through those opening levels a lot faster. I don't know how useful one XP is going to be at the end, but I, I guess every little bit counts, right? Um, but I'm not that good at that. <laughs> Kelvin said, so "Why does it feel like maintenance is just gone? I, I don't even see it, man." Um, Let's uh, let's bring. Which plane do, should we bring over? Let's bring an A three nineteen. Uh, yeah, A three nineteen. Let's go to my fleet. Let's change my colors. Oh, look at all these liveries I don't have. So they did the, the unification, the livery unification on this update. And it's pretty cool because like now we get a bunch of different colors that we never uh we never had. Uh, another uh, liveries that we never had. But for my A319, we're gonna keep it with the gradient, um, with the dark blue on top and the light blue on the bottom and red engines. So it's pr uh can I configure it? I can. All right, 126 and 8. Let's see. And I'm at Muscat. This can go to Prague, Bari, Innsbruck. Nice. Leipzig doesn't have that much demand. Innsbruck with 384. Bari with 389 or 399. 393. Prague with 476. Wow. So here's what I'm thinking, right? 476 divided by four is probably like 410, four, between 410 and 420. So, or 110 and 120. So 119, I think is a good spot. And then, you know, 46 divided by four. Um, so that way I can have four A319s heading out to Prague and still have enough demand. That's the way I'm thinking this will work, but I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'm going to send it to Prague anyways, once it lands. I guess we're going to have to do a new call sign competition because now everybody has new call signs, right? Stand said, if a plane is delayed, will, will that contract never recover? Um, so, for like the very early contracts, nah, it won't recover because you only have one, right? So, like these very early level contracts, you won't recover. Even with two, it, it'll kind of, I don't think you will recover. If you, once you start reaching three and more, then you can, you can uh, make up for missing out on, uh, <laughs> on one of the, the, the contracted handlings. I think, you know, if it's in the yellow, you still get the extension and upgrade, but you don't get the silver planes and the XP. If it's red, I don't think you get any of it. But I haven't had one finish in the red yet, um, which I probably should have done while I was beta, but I didn't do it. So if any of you guys get a, a red contract, a completely red contract, you know, let me know what happens if you don't even get the extension or the upgrade. But yeah. And the beginning levels, it's really hard to recover. But uh, at the once you start having three or more, even four or more, uh, it's 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 not too big of a problem. You have to wait two minutes before. Okay. <laughs> You don't get anything with red red contract. Gotcha. Um, 
Oh, look at that. I got two planes that are ready for rewards. So it's this one and this one. How do you play the new WOA? Um, you have to get contracts to get planes. Then you uh, accept the plane to land. You choose a stand for the plane to land to. Then you uh, approve the plane for landing. Then once it gets to its gate, you start handling the plane. And then after you're done handling the plane, you finish handling. And then uh, once you're done with finishing ha handling the plane, then you tell the plane to take off. And then after that, uh, you clear it for departure. Yo, this Gulf Airways now, hold on. Where did it go? Oh, this one. Did this one get an extension? No, no extension, but that was a huge help. To get those five level up points, that, that that got me past level zero and right into level one, I think. So we got a regional contract at level one. Let's go ahead. So E-175 Muscat. So here... We get an extension. We get an upgrade. Only two silver planes and only one XP. So not 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 too exciting, but it's also 20 minutes away. So that's not too bad. It's a, it, that means it'll come in quickly, and frequently. But that's a good plane for like le uh, ranking, uh, for getting those contract levels ranked up, which will then help me like get more XP at the later levels. Yeah, the ramp agent is awesome. Like uh, Flammy said, you know, remember to use auto handling because uh, it's so useful. Yeah, you got that right. It is very useful. <laughs> Xavier asked, do I have an AN-124? I might. I think I do. Actually, no, no, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Do I? I'm confused. Let's see. Do I have one here? No, I, actually, I don't think you could have bought one, right? You couldn't buy one in the previous version. Just the AN-22, but not the 124. I think you get that from uh, like a, 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 a leveling up at, at Leipzig now. All right, we get to assign a contract here. Assign a contract to Prague. Look at my Discord real quick. Hmm. I'll, I'll come back to that later. All right, but for now, let's change airports. I want to check out Prague. Guys, make sure you do at least log in and get these special events. So if you don't, even if you don't have enough time to play play the game, go into the airport, go down to contracts, accept the contract because if you look at the parameters, it's only one handling, but you get 10 silver planes and five XP. Five XP is enough to get you to that next level instantly. So just go ahead and accept that contract and then go, go back out of the airport. If you have something else you need to do, um, accept that contract, come back later, handle that plane. You know, I'm going to Washington right now. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down to contracts. I'm going to look at the parameters just to see what it looks like. You know, 10 silver planes, five XP. That's awesome. It's Frontier Airways, so we're going to go ahead and accept that contract, and I'll come back later. I'm going to come back later to, to Washington. So make sure you do that, because uh, otherwise you're going to miss out on like some easy silver planes, right? Most of these contracts, you're not going to get 10 silver planes for handling one plane. You're going to get one 
five, you know, silver planes for handling one. And you're definitely not going to get five XP for handling one single plane. So that's a really nice boost, and it's really nice to have. Yo, what's up, su su uh, X Sucky? Uh, Prem God play says, Fat, you were a lifesaver when I first started. Well, what could you do? How to guides for a new one as well? Uh, I fully intend to, but thank you, thank you for letting me know about that. Um, that's pretty nice to hear. I always like hearing that, that I was able to help people out because that was one of the problems I had when I was playing World of Airports. And I mean, now I have, I have ideas on what videos I need to make for the new uh, version, but uh, I also want to make sure that like well, a lot of my things, a lot of my things are a problem. My first few videos are probably not going to go too in depth. It's going to be more like high level generic kind of stuff. But I'm telling you, as uh, we figure out more about contracts, as we figure out more about um, how, how each of these airports work and how contracts work and how fleets work and figure out these things, we'll have more and more uh, advanced guides out. But yeah, I definitely intend on doing that. Suki, but with a Y. Oh, I gotcha. All right, let's generate a contract. We got Wiz Air. Four silver planes, one, one XP. I don't know if I want to accept that. Cause look, look at all these contracts I have from my, from, from my before 2.0 times. You know, like this Nagoya contract, what? 20 silver planes, one XP, but it's a five hour round trip. That is a lot faster than it was in the previous game, though. Prague to Nagoya, I think, was like 12 hours. Um, you got Hong Kong. Five hours, 21 and 2 XP. Not too bad. Tel Aviv. Seven silver planes. Cool, cool. Uh, Flaming says fat. Let's check the Easter egg. Well, I, I think the the Easter egg takes a little bit of time to, to load in, you know um, We can we can turn around though. The Easter egg should be over this way This is the other uh, old Prague runway, right and this is where the, the plane should be Oh, does the old Easter egg not work? I got planes on the runway now, right? So I don't think I don't think the old the Easter egg is gonna work if you have planes on the runway. Yo, Darius, thank you for uh, subscribing. Appreciate that. Uh, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I don't think the old Easter egg is gonna work if you got planes on the runway. You know, <laughs> let's uh let's go back. To, let's get to a, a normal, generic view here. Yeah, so you got planes on the runway. So I don't know how that's gonna work, man. Because those planes used to be over here, and then that plane would travel down this path, and then take off. So I guess we'll see one day, huh? We'll see later on. This is one thing he was talking about, that the fuel thing was moved, so it's not there in, in the game. Oh, and let's look at the levels. So this is Prague. A premium pass at Prague costs 30 gold planes. And, uh, you know, you get the AT-76 plane and a premium 2 livery. That's cool. On premium pass. Um, you got contract up here. Where you get an E-170 airplane. You got some E-170 liveries on the premium pass. You also get a livery on the free pass, which is pretty cool. You get one gold plane, which is nice. You get an E-190 airplane um, and a B-734 airplane. And then you also get an A319 airplane at Prague. That's cool. You got Wallers, you know, handling crew with the regional airport status at level 24. A 738 airplane, an A320 airplane at premium pass, both of those. A C-30J airplane at premium pass. You get an A319 livery with the premium pass. You get an A319 airplane at level 33. You get the 752 airplane at Prague at level 35 premium pass. 
You get to unlock the 38M, the B38M at level 38 at Prague Premium Pass. Um, you get another 752. You get an A306. Um, an A30 BF unlock, which is cool. That's another nice unlock. Uh, you get, oh, you get a single DH64 at Prague at level 51. And then you get an A332 uh, airplane at level 52 um, with the premium pass. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and park this. Uh, Suki said, oh my goodness, but they made, the devs make this game so much more pretty. Yeah, I agree. It is very pretty. Very cool. I think that should be 100%. Yep, I'm getting better at this game, guys. You see the, you see the pilot? He just waved at me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the Easter egg is still here or maybe it's something else. Maybe we have to figure it out But uh, I, I, I don't think it'll work with planes on the the runway that I used to take off at All Right we got contracts coming in from kamikaze. I'm only gonna accept one of these um, Yeah, we'll accept one Do another parking mini game. I don't think this is going to be a hundred percent. Yeah, slightly off. The pilot didn't wave to me either. Alrighty. Well, guys, uh, that is, that's the update in a nutshell. You know, we didn't go through every single airport in us uh, in this game so far, but we did go to the St. Martin airport. St. Martin airport is going to be a very interesting airport to play. It's a small airport. Um, lots of small planes, uh, very few, uh, very few small medium planes and, uh, X plane and L planes. Very few of those. Um, it's going to be relying a lot on local contracts. And making money is going to be very interesting here. It also has, uh, you know, I can't. I, I need to play around more with this, uh, with this camera view, so that way we can get some nice, beautiful shots of airplanes landing. So I'll be playing around with that a lot. And I saw on the World of Airports Discord, by the way, and they're having a, a, a competition at St. Martin. I think it was a screenshot competition. So if you could take the best picture at St. Martin Airport, that would be fantastic. And you guys, I think uh, they have prizes that they're giving away as well. So uh, I, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to uh, call it a stream right here. And uh, Potato said, can you accept me, please? 11 planes waiting. Um, well, one, don't send me 11 requests. Two, um, I don't know which airport you sent me a request to. So uh, let me know that and only one request because otherwise otherwise uh, you're you're blocking it for a bunch of other people who also want to connect. That's a cool thing with, co with contracts too is that like I can have multiple people sending me planes to my airport and I can also send my planes to multiple people to the same to different airports as well. So I'm going to try to figure that out. Join the Fat Airlines Discord if you uh if you're interested in finding connections, we're going to make some updates in the next, you know, couple of weeks. So that way it more aligns with 2.0. But I hope you guys enjoyed 2.0. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Uh, Rewatch it if you want to see any tips that I may have given. Because uh, I did give quite a few tips just from my experience from playing the beta. And we'll keep on, you know, playing the game. And we'll try to figure out what are some of the best ways to really um, play World of Airports with this new update. And how to get the most money. And how to get, you know, 
get the best experience from playing. So guys, that's it for today. Let me see what you guys have to say. Xavier said, best YouTuber is you. Oh, thank you, man. Um, can you accept me? I read that already. Um, Suki's going to buy it. Nice. Do we need, need to remake previous friend connections? I think you do. Yes. Um, <laughs> Kay said, I touched so many random boats and planes in St. Martin looking for an Easter egg. That's probably what I'll end up doing, too. Um, Suki's still playing the old Woa. Nice. How to get flight at a flight path in this latest update? Uh, I'm not sure, exactly sure what you mean, but uh, you just probably have to add a connection, uh, a contract. Sorry, add a contract, and that's how you get different um, different destinations coming in. But all right, guys, uh, you know, leave a comment on the video if there's any other questions, or you know, join me on the Fat Airlines Discord. I'll also be on the World of Airports Discord, but I'm gonna be checking out the Fat Airlines Discord first. But uh, that's it for me today time to go back to my son and uh, i appreciate you all being here today and uh i hope you have a fantastic day i'll probably uh, try to do some live streams on twitch very soon yo alan weeks thank you for the 20 man appreciate that thank you for your hard work thank you for the 20 appreciate that it's very nice of you um but uh yeah <laughs> i really hope you all have a fantastic day uh and uh i'll see if i can do some uh more streams on on twitch or if there's something like new mechanics that i need to explain uh, then i'll try to do it here on youtube as well so uh check it out and i really appreciate everything y'all have a fantastic day and uh alan thank you again for the, the, the big 20 appreciate that guys enjoy and uh enjoy 2.0 i i, I will <laughs> all right bye everyone peace